Hi Virgo, welcome to your mid-October 2019 general love reading. This is Mermaid Scales Tarot. Virgo, before I get started, I do just want to point out that I did extend my Casanova Tarot deck giveaway. Um, if you're interested in winning a deck, these will be the cards I use as the main deck in this reading. Go ahead and check the description box to see how you can win a chance to have these deck, this deck for your own. Um, let's get started. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Virgo. This is not going to resonate with every single Virgo. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how I set my intentions. If this re message doesn't resonate with you, Virgo, I suggest checking your Rising, Moon, and Venus signs, because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more than your Sun sign at this time. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Virgo. Please keep in mind, Virgo and Cross Watchers, I am picking up on both energies during this reading of whoever's watching plus Virgo, so if you feel like a certain scenario should be flipped or reversed, please feel free to do that. You're more than welcome to do that since this is a general reading and that it, the energy is very fluid, but, you know, um, oh god, this Mercury retrograde is already affecting me. Um, oh, should should you feel like that resonates with your situation, go ahead and do so. Don't know why I felt like I had to say something. And you know what's weird, Virgo? Before I get into the whole introduction, while I was getting in your meditation, I was hearing that phrase in a Biggie song, um, if you don't know, now you know. Like, so I'm wondering if there's someone that needs to say something that you're not aware of at this time, and it's almost as if, like, spirit acted as a vessel for me to be like oh but you know what <laughs> or like you know i don't know why that happened so someone i feel like definitely has something to say um and i yeah biggie is a gemini but i think he had a virgo moon if i'm not wrong i think he did have a virgo moon but anyway getting back to the introduction um we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within us when i'm saying masculines or feminines i'm referring to the energies not the gender or sex if anything is gender or sex specific i will let you know all right let's get this going I feel like someone just turned the heater on or turned the heater on before watching this video. <laughs> I don't like something's getting hot or warm. Oh, I don't know, Virgo. Let's see what this is about. So this spread's gonna be, you know, whoever's in connected with you energetically, what they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't, what they like about the connection, what they don't, and their highest hopes and deepest fears for this connection. So spirit angels and guides. How does this person feel about Virgo at this time? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I definitely feel like someone that's watching this has a Virgo moon, even when I pull that, or pointed that out about Biggie. Oh, well, there you go. Let's get this going. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, the cards are jumpy. Very jumpy. Okay. King of Pentacles. Judgment. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay. Someone is in their head about you, Virgo. Someone. I feel like. Something must have ended in a way or something is feeling a bit tense at this time between you and this person because something isn't being said. And the more that it's not being said, the more it's not being shown, um, the more this person's in their head about it. Obsessed. Okay? Um... 
Some of you, this person may be very ill at this time. I'm so sorry if that's the case. Someone's really, really thinking a lot about a situation, feeling trapped. I'm almost getting the sense of guilt or shame. This sense of unable to move. I'm feeling like almost as if it was close to Taurus's last reading. I don't know if you're involved with the Taurus or you have Taurus somewhere in your chart. But, or this person may, it's something like needs to be expressed or said as in, almost as if like a confession needs to be made. Um, someone be, could be losing a lot of weight unexpectedly. Um, someone may be looking a bit worried all the time anxious um and virgo if you're apart from this person they're in their head about it they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about what you guys had um let, let's let's clarify this there's a lot of mental obsession going on here okay i have to be honest there's the eight of swords the devil and the seven of cups wow Okay, why is the Eight of Swords in the background energy for Virgo in this connection? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Seven of Cups. Yep, that's out there twice. So seven, seven may be an important number to you. Seven may be someone's um, life path number or lucky number in some way. Why is seven? Or why is the eight of swords here? For Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, someone needs to make a decision. Or someone's made a decision. I'm almost feeling Virgo like... Someone is confused about a decision you made, maybe. Maybe you decided to cut this person off. Maybe you decided to go more with your career. Or maybe you chose someone else over this person. Or maybe they chose someone else over you, Virgo. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or Earth, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like a decision needs to be made and someone's not making it. Almost as if either you, Virgo, gave someone an ultimatum about like, do the right thing or I'm out, or someone just doesn't know what you decided, what your next move is. Like they're waiting on your next move, either to pursue them or to leave them. I don't know why there's so much of this like tension. Um, it's deep, 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 deep confusion. Like, almost as if you almost... Someone left someone in the dust type of thing. And, like, now they're just waiting for the... For the dust to blow away kind of thing. Or they're just waiting for you to choose. And it's just making them anxious the longer... You know, they wait on your choice. It's like, okay, does Virgo like me? Do they not? Are they... They're just very confused and in their head. They're waiting for your next move. Because how they feel about you is the king of pentacles. So, again, this could be your energy, because this is Virgo, Earth energy, specifically Taurus. And again, you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. But they feel like you are the person for them that will make them feel safe, secure. Um, I'm picking on a very masculine energy right now. Maybe Virgo, they want to make you feel safe and secure and protected. But they may feel like you have a lot of options that... You have a lot to choose from. They feel like you, 
you know, have whatever it takes to accomplish what you want to accomplish. That you take the time, the dedication, the ambition, you're intelligent, um, and you like to execute everything perfectly. You're not someone that hastily goes into things carelessly. You are very grounded. You don't get too lost in your head, unlike this person. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but it's kind of crazy um, how this person's energy is coming off. I almost feel like you've left this person on red before. Maybe you ghosted this person before. Um, they, but they feel like, you know, you're this accomplishment. Like, having you, Virgo, would be an accomplishment for them. Not to butter your bread, but that's exactly what it feels like. Um, they want to give you the world. They, sorry, I'm like shaking. It's like almost like this energy from this person so anxious waiting for to see what you'll do next because... Like, they're hoping to be chosen, is what I'm really getting from this. Um, yeah. What they think about you, judgment. Um, so, Virgo, yeah, I, I'm just getting this type of energy where they just know that you'll make the final call at the end of the day if you want to continue to spend time with them or invest in them or if you're just interested in something else whether that's your own career whether that is someone else or whether that's more things that you have on the plate I don't know I'm getting this energy where they may have felt like while you guys were talking they may have done something to screw things up or lessen the chance of keeping it on lock with you somehow whether that is that they like I don't know if they were like having a wandering eye per se or if I don't know they did something to trip up your trust in a way I'm getting from this um lying about something like lying about what they have or something materialistic like that. I'm unsure, like how much money they make, maybe. And you're not one to be fooled. And you caught on to it quick. So they know that you are thinking of them in a different light, in a different way. I feel like whoever this person is, um,. They're almost like, I don't know, this is such a weird random energy, but almost as if like they started working out to like get your attention, Virgo. Or maybe you started working out, working on your body, knowing that holiday season's coming up and all those treats and sweets are about to hit those spots. Um, or maybe, they, I think though, I'm getting that like vibe that they started working out to like increase their odds. Like Virgo, seriously, someone really likes you borderlining a bit of an obsession here, okay? What they like about you the most? The devil. So what I'm getting from this is they think you're hot as hell. Some of you could have Capricorn somewhere in your, somewhere in your chart or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But Virgo, quite honestly, more than anything, I'm getting that this person's just like, I have to have Virgo. I need to cut competition. I need to make myself known. And with that, I feel like you feel there's some dishonesty coming from that. And you could be right. Um, and it's not so much I feel, again, if there was a wandering eye, it may have just sent you, given you like a red flag. But I'm feeling like this person's just trying to make themselves out to be something more than what they are. Which is kind of throwing you off. Um, let's let's go ahead and clarify the devil, or maybe like Virgo. They find you just like so physically, sexually attractive. You guys have like they think honestly they think you have like given them the best sex they ever had. 
All right, and I'm hearing like sex in a car. Something happened in a car with sex. Like a truck or somewhere where you can fold out. Ooh, Virgo. <laughs> or I don't know, some, some sex in a car. Um, why is the devil here for what they like about Virgo? The Queen of Cups really wanted to come out. The Queen of Cups. Let's get one more card. I'm almost feeling like Virgo, they're trying to play this thing where they acting like they don't care as much as they do. Oh my god, like, they care. I, I can't emphasize it enough. So if they're playing that little act of like, oh, whatever, they left me all red. I don't care. I'm just going to leave them on red back. Um, oh god. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. I'm wearing a towel on my head because I took a shower. So it's like extends my head like a foot. Um, anyway... Okay, so we got the Devil clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, so this is kind of what I was saying, Virgo, as if, like, they're kind of not showing like, you, like, oh, that they don't care, whatever, like, tit for tat, I can play that game too, when really all they wish for is you. All they think about is you. All they want is you. And they know that you are sought after that people see you and they feel like they have to compete in order to win or in order to achieve this wish they have with you but for some reason they think like by not showing their emotions by being closed off that that's helping this like i don't know if i don't know if like someone's been fighting over you virgo like, literally, someone's trying to claim their territory. I will say there's a bit of a controlling or a possessive type of energy I'm feeling with this for some of you. So please be aware of that. Um, and those of you, you know what it, you, you would feel that. Um, okay, some of you are wondering if that was you I was talking to. I'm seeing, like, this bed frame. I don't know what something's up with the bed frame. Um... Like a regal bed frame or like something special about your bed frame or maybe their bed frame. You made that bed frame rock? I don't know. But what I do know is that, yeah, they, they are, will do whatever it takes. They will do whatever it takes. If that means telling you, you know, that they have more money than they have or that they do more than they do, lying about their role. Um, but it's going about it the wrong way. Just to make themselves stand up from the crowd, from everyone else. Because they want you so badly, Virgo. So badly. And what they don't like is the tower. Virgo, I felt, I feel like you brought this tower in the connection, in the relationship. I feel like either you called it off, you rejected, or you just like pulled your energy back. Kind of like something doesn't feel right here. Or... You know, they're being kind of weird or being shady or um, not. Like, you're picking up on something that's like. Either that or it's like they're at, like they're waiting for this tower moment with, with whatever decision you're going to make. Um, like, whether you're going to choose them or not. It's as if, like, if you don't choose them, Virgo, all hell is going to break loose. Shit. Like, whether it's, like, in their own world, or if it's, like, uh, let, let's clarify the tower. Why is the tower here for Virgo? Ten of Pentacles. This could be someone you're working with, Virgo, who has the hots for you. And they're afraid that, like, if you, like, turn them down, let's say, um, maybe you talk about it with your fellow co-workers or something like that. And I'm getting, like, embarrassment that they are afraid you embarrass them in some way. Um, with the Page of Wands, um, yeah, that, like, your message to them would be, like, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting some sort of, like, revenge type of thing. Like, they couldn't take the embarrassment of you rejecting them. 
of you turning them down and they would get angry I'm seeing from this um, like their little bush of hope whatever burned and turned into this like fury almost I know it's like the phoenix technically but honestly I have to be honest because it feels like something with their reputation something with their legacy or their reputation would be somewhat tarnished a bit is what I'm hearing from this so they, they're hoping for that you will choose them, that you will make the right choice. Or else literal, like they feel like all hell will break loose. Wow. I don't know if you guys heard bells recently or you, like you live in bells. Some of you I'm hearing like Philadelphia. I don't know what that has to do with anything or like something about bells ringing. Or you may hear bells ringing soon. I know Christmas is coming if some of you celebrate Christmas. Um, what they like the most about this connection, the Five of Wands, I feel like they think they can beat out the competition, Virgo, or they feel like they can get your attention somehow, or if you guys are in like this little back and forth thing, like that they will win it, that they will overcome it. I'm getting like this person like, a little bit likes drama in a way. Um, they're a bit dramatic. I'm getting a lot of fire energy, particularly Aries, um, Leo or Sagittarius. But it's almost as if like Virgo, this person that like is so dramatic and stuff, and you're so grounded, easygoing. Like, the way they're going about it is not the way that's impressing you, for some of you. And it's like, you know, almost as if they kind of want to start these little fights because they like to see you mad for some of you, or like to see you annoyed and like to see like that little fire come out of you. Some of you could have fire in your chart somewhere. But they want to win. I, I want to make that clear. They want to win, and they're pretty intent on it. What they don't like about this, yeah, someone got put on red. Someone got um, their energy pulled away from them, and they don't like this loneliness. They don't like this, like, they almost feel like they're in the doghouse. Um, maybe they tried to start, like, shit with your family or your ex or something like that that was just not cool. Maybe that's why you kind of pulled back a bit. Um, or even co-workers, if you do work with this person. But they're, they're kind of in the, again, they're kind of in the dust right now because you left them in the dust. And if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Um, but they're not liking this solitude from you. They don't like this no communication. They kind of just want you to bring them back out of the dark into the light again. Their highest hopes is the Seven of Cups. Like, look at that. I don't think you're aware of how much they're watching you. And I think it's even past, uh, ooh, God. I think it's even past just like checking out your social media. This person's kind of obsessed. And I thought I picked up on that energy a couple readings ago with Scorpio, but that was more codependency. This person sees you as like the one and only. Okay, like I don't want to freak you guys out, but it's kind of like, that and they want you to make the right choice they want you to, to make the right decision and I almost feel like they're gonna try to like if you don't make it soon or if you make the wrong one they're gonna try to catch you off guard or slip you up a bit they're gonna almost like make you start to feel confused if you made the right decision yeah I don't know but they're watching they think you look good Especially your legs. Or your feet. Oh god. Um, I don't know if one of you guys go to a bathhouse or a sauna frequently or often. Maybe you met at one. I don't know. Um, or after working out you guys hit the sauna or something like that. Yeah, Virgo, be careful. I feel like you, you, they, you, they know where you go to publicly, and like, 
they try to like slip in the crowd that you don't notice them. Even some of you may have like been like, oh, what are you doing here? And they're like, oh, hi, uh, just picking up my orange juice at like the grocery store. Or like milk and you're like, well, aren't you lactose intolerant? And they're like, oh yeah, I don't know, something weird, something weird. But if it's not that, then they just were really hoping you make the right choice. Like, I don't want to freak you guys out. I feel like I'm freaking you guys out. Um, their deepest fears, three of swords. I mean, this is pretty clear as day. Um, ooh, I gotta say, you guys, I don't know, I'm getting intuitively from these cards. Watch out for a peeping Tom, okay? Or someone that tries to watch you while you change. Oh my god. That's so creepy. Okay, um, yeah, watch out for that. But anyway, um, they don't want their heart broken. They are still going to be on you, though. Like, they cannot let it go. They'll still think of you, dream of you, want you. They'll still long for you. And I'm almost hearing, like, this isn't over. So, Virgo, be very aware of this, okay? It's, it's pretty intense. I'm feeling the need to clarify the Seven of Cups for you guys. I mean, because this is pretty clear. Let's go ahead and clarify the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm almost hearing, I heard music note tattoo. Or like a music note. Maybe you guys write music. Maybe you compose music. But someone has like a tattoo of a music note. That's so random. Yeah, eight of, yeah. Um, so what I'm getting from that is that they're going to want you quickly to make your decision. And Again, I do feel this energy that they're putting themselves off at a, a lot more like sweet and innocent than what it really is. Um, like as if like, oh, you pick me? Oh, I never expected this. Like as if they weren't like sending. I'm almost getting like energetically they're just sending you their energy. Um, which may be making you feel a bit like ugh, tired or like disoriented. And that's exactly kind of what they want. If this person, um, I have, I'm having a need to say this, if this person does like black magic of any sort, um, protect yourself, black tourmaline is really good for that, sage, sage is good for that, um, the evil eye, go ahead and look that up, get one of those, jade, um, anyway, <laughs> god, um, but they want you to make, choose them. And again, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces too. But they want you to make your decision quick. And they want that decision of love. That's going to bring them a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. Alright. Alright, Virgo. So, before we head out, I will pull a deck from the romance angel cards to see what their con what their feelings are towards you what their energy towards this connection is or anything that can further confirm anything for you in regards to this person how does this person feel about virgo that they may not be communicating at this time Calling in their soulmate. Yeah, no shit. Calling in your soulmate in past life relationship. Yeah, this person feels a strong connection to you, Virgo. Um, maybe you've known this person for a while. Like, and they keep on coming back for some of you. Others of you. Um, they feel this, like, strong, strong bond towards you. And they may feel or have said before, like, oh, I feel like we've known each other before. Or, like, you know me so well type of thing. But, yeah, they're definitely trying to call you in, Virgo. They're definitely trying to send those prayers, affirmations, visualiz visualizations. Or even taking it a step further and, like, full-on doing magic. 
or even like just trying to send the most energy out to you so you choose them like they have this deep longing for you deep need for you um like deep want for you because they do feel this strong connection especially the masculines oh the feminines too though it could be either energy the masculines i'm feeling like more of a sexual while the feminines like really just view you as some sort of soulmate life long partner type of thing all right virgo if you're interested in visiting me on vimeo for the extended reading we're going to go ahead and see the likely outcome of this situation and any advice for you in regards to this love going on until november if you're interested in winning the deck I used for this reading, go ahead and check out the Casanova Tarot deck um, and check out the description box to see if you would like to win this deck for yourself. If this resonated with you, Virgo, please comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I wish you all the best. Take care.